I won all the heats today. Every single one. I led nearly every lap. Uh, and I got a lot of points, which, make, which makes me start the pre-final tomorrow on pole. So overall, it's been a very, very good day. Probably my best day in Europe. And what are your hopes for tomorrow? Well, I, would, I, I want to win. Uh, but I want to win really well. I want to feel like I've earned it. And uh, I'm going to win for my dad, my mum, Terry and everyone. Um, great. What about yourself? Well, I do it for myself anyway. Hmm. So why, why do you like karting then? What, what is it? Is it the thrill or whatever the speed? What, what, how do you feel when you're in that car, kart? Because when you win in karting, you feel like you've earned it. Or well, like if you have like a sports day like in school, like so all the headmasters are like, oh, it's about taking part not winning. <laughs> and then here, no one really cares about second place. Like for example, who, whoever won the world championship next year, or who last year was Colberry, no, no one remembers who came second. No one gives a damn. So when you win, everyone knows who you are, and they only care about the winner. Yeah, that's fine, but how, how do you actually feel when you're in that cart, when you're racing? How, how do you feel yourself? It's quite, the adrenaline is quite high. You, it's a very adrenaline pumping sport, but you also have to keep your nerves calm. You've got to be nervous, but you've got to keep it under control. That's the key. And that's why I think it's better, because it teaches me about how to control my nerves when I'm older and in life, but I'm learning it. Now when I'm 13, well, 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 an average person my age wouldn't be able to learn it probably until they're about 25 or something. When did you start karting? Uh, when I was eight years old in Rye House. Uh, it was kind of just like a fun thing when my dad just took me with his friend who was a stockbroker who'd done Renault Clears. And uh, he used to do karting a little bit himself and then I just got into it from there. I just started going around in a, in a small cart and I, and I loved it from straight away. No, straight away, as soon as I got into a car, first lap, first corner, I wanted to do it. Everything else seems boring to me. And do you feel you miss out on a lot of, inverted commas, normal life? Like you're with other friends from school, your family life, because you have to dedicate so many hours to... Well, when I'm doing what I love, I love it more than anything else. And at the, at the moment, I don't see a lot of school, so I don't really know the people there that much. So I don't really care. I just do what I love. And that's what, and I love, when I win, that's the best thing. It's more important than going, well, meeting my friends at school. And your family? You spend a lot of time away. Yeah, I, my mum I miss the most, but obviously my dad comes, so I, I don't have to miss him because he's always there to support me. Uh, I miss my two sisters a lot as well. Do you feel big, when your dad is here, you see a lot more of him than a normal child would see of their dad because he's always with you, accompanying you every weekend? Well, yes, yeah, I suppose so, because a normal child doesn't really get the support from their dad nowadays because they're generally working quite a lot. Well, my dad's kind of working, but trying to keep up with me at the same time. And he's always supporting, like, for example, if he's on an important phone call, he's still put it down just to talk to me before I go and go out to a race. Um, what are your hopes and ambitions for the future? Why, why are you doing this? Where do you see yourself? Well, I'd like to be the most successful person ever to be in Formula 1. I'd like to be the youngest. And I want to win as many world championships as I can, as many races as I can, as many pole positions as I can. And I, I just want to be the best I could be. Do you realise how long it'll take you from karting to F1? I mean, is it going to be a long time? Well, yes, I, I've known this game since... I've been in this game for about four years and I know what it takes. And I've been working too hard already and I'm not, going to give it, I'm not ready to give it up now. Well, my hero, <laughs> my hero was kind of like Terry, because he kind of opened my eyes on what you actually have to do to win, what you have to prepare to sacrifice, and what you have to prepare your mental attitude has to be. For example, I, before I really met Terry, I wanted to win, but not as bad as I do now. I didn't have as much adrenaline pumping through my body, and I didn't want it as much as other people. And then he opened my eyes and he slapped me across the head, and then he made me realise what how hard it is to win, and that's that's what's made me better. What do you think about uh, girl, a lot more girls are joining karting now? So what do you think of that? Um, because one of the girls told me that she felt that the boy didn't like her uh, overtaking them. Because <laughs> it's natural for a man to not get beaten by a girl. Because they think, well generally we feel that we are inferior, but we're actually not really. And there's some like Sophia, like you just interviewed early on today, she is actually very, very good and she's very, very quick. 
And I think she, she will be good because obviously with press and stuff, they will, everyone will want a first Formula One woman driver. So I think it is very possible for a woman driver to come into it.